I make this and I post pictures of this all the time on Instagram and I've had numerous people ask me for the recipe. I've posted the recipe but I might as well just go ahead and do a video also. Um, so what this is, this is a package of 15 bean soup that's been soaking in water for probably about 8 hours now. And the only thing that I add to it is um, a single cube and a lot of people are going to dog me for this but this is my recipe a single cube of beef bouillon so it soaks in that for about eight hours with just enough water to cover it you might have to adjust the water up or down because as the beans rehydrate they'll absorb the water and that sort of thing but there's a single packet of beef bouillon in there the next thing we're going to do is we are going to put that into a crock pot. I've got my crock pot here ready to go. I'm going to just dump the beans in there. Something like that. Try to get all the beans out of the bowl. I'm going to need another hand. Hold on, let me find a camera mount. And of course, the camera mount that I have is not tall enough for you to see in there, but trust me, I'm just going to take and get these last few beans out of this bowl. Again, this is a 15 bean soup been soaking in water for about eight hours with a single beef bouillon cube added to it. Alright, now that we have that done, you also need some of Ed Wiggett's homemade seasoning. Now, Ed Wiggett don't use measuring cups when stuff he makes with his own recipe, but I will put this how I make this the general idea in the uh, YouTube video comment and if I was to guess how much of this use I use I'm gonna guess is probably about two tablespoons the next thing you're gonna want is a package of salted pork this is 12 ounces um, these the, the uh, amount of beans that I actually used was a pound sometimes I'll make this as, as a double recipe so I'll use two bags of beans and two of these but it's just me so I'm only gonna make this one now you can also use something like pork loin if you want more meat in your recipe but I just want this salted pork in there the next thing that you add in this um, it can really go in any time but it's got to go in there and then I also forgot that I normally put the jalapenos in about two hours before it's ready to serve so tomorrow I'll put the jalapenos in but the soup mix goes in now I'm put in about it's probably if it was uh, shredded down it'd be about a quarter of a cup next thing we're gonna add is that is it well we got to add some water let me show you what's going on here basically what you want to do is you want just enough water to cover the top of the meat and I'll show you what we got now got just enough water to cover the top of the meat all right so now plug in your slow cooker turn it on I usually do low put the lid on it on low the thing you want to do is you want to check the water level always make sure that it's got enough water in there you want the beans covered the meat covered you're gonna let this cook ready 12 hours so it's about 
uh, 7.59 p.m. So 8 o'clock in the morning, this is going to be ready to eat. I'll bring you back and show you what it looks like in the morning. Okay, the final step of the bean soup is about the last hour before it's ready. You want to go ahead and add jalapenos to it. The number you add is on your personal preference. I like a lot. Something like that. Probably about, that was probably about a quarter of a cup. Might have been a half a cup, something more around there. Then let this cook for about another hour and it is ready to eat. Once it's done cooking for an hour, turn your crock pot down on keep warm.